Cruiserweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Tonight, when this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC heavyweight Championship of the world. It's who just first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler. Holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomeda. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, come out fighting. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this one? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. 
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that it comes. Nice. Rock him, shock him out of the shoot here. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there. And he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. He may want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Missed with that jab attempt there. Let's go. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Oh, big head kick lands. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand a strike with anybody in the UFC. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Got clip with the right hand. Great punch landed with so much power. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Caught the kick. And they separate. Continuing to go to the head. Whiffs on that offering. Dermago Medoff gets caught by that straight hand. Right hand and a left. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Under two minutes now to go. Medov gets caught with that punch. And just misses with that big right hand. Got the single collar tie. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just out of range with the straight left hand. What a body kick. Oh, huge block. Sneaky head kick. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Big head kick lands. the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Just misses with the right. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Another shot lands upstairs. Big punch land. Ooh, great one on strikes. Right now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Ready? 
All right, round two. Big kick lands. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Just out of the range with that right hand. Throws the right hand there. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with the court, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. And they separate. It's such a fast leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you cover me without a combo. I want the whole, whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, big punch lands. Nice. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into the opponent's stop. Beat his leg up. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, DC. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands off. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with beating. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Switching stances here. High cross, baby. High cross. Give him a high cross. Just missed with the straight left hand. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Right punches there. Just out of range with that strike. Right hook to the body. Oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found the striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. What a punch. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, man. That jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, that's a good right hand. Punch over the top. Just missed with the left there. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Magomedov shot is blocked. Okay, keep going, keep going. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Trying to establish that jab once again. Ooh, what a punch. Crazy accuracy and efficiency.
consistency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, next round is underway. He really did a nice job defensively in the previous round. You're not always winning with defense in MMA, but the crowd was ooing and eyeing as he moved that head off the side. I mean, it was defensive brilliant. Yes. I mean, just the ability to move, to roll his shoulders, to get his hands up and block his head as the opponent was trying to attack him was a sight to behold. It was a thing of beauty to watch a guy with such a vast... Whoa! to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh! Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Just a slip there. Unable to land with that punch. Real nice body to land. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. He now connects with a right. Oh, nice kick right there. Another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of from him in the early rounds. Oh, he might be out. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. This is such a crazy fight. Pretty good jab there by Nermago Medoff. Oh, 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 he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. There's no give on that leg kick. Nermago Medov gets lit up by that straight punch. with conviction. That was a thudding leg kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, gotta like what they're seeing out of the beat Rabaco Medov striking here. Oh! 
Gets up again here, but hurting. Leg kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Effective punch there by Nermago Medov. Let's go. Keep pushing. Big head kick lands. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cutman can only do so much, and given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're gonna stop this fight. Here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. There's no tell on that leg kick. Lands the right hand. Look at him drive his shin into the oh! He's out! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 14 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, you know that he has all the skills to reign atop a volatile division 